and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Private plane crashes in Russia with Wagner Chief Prigozhin on board. Wagner Chief Prigozhin listed as a passenger on the plane that crashed in the Tiva region. A private plane has crashed in Moscow's Tiva region, killing all 10 people on board. Russia news agency TASS reports that Wagner mercenary group chief Yevgeny Prigozhin was among those on board. Russia's civilian aviation regulator, Rosa Vyatsia, also said Prigozhin was on the passenger list. However, it was not immediately clear if he had boarded the flight. The Embraer aircraft, en route from Moscow to St. Petersburg, was carrying seven passengers and three crew, TASS reported on Wednesday. A private Embraer legacy aircraft traveling from Moscow to St. Petersburg crashed near the village of Kuzhenkino in the Tiva region. There were 10 people on board, including three crew members. According to preliminary information, all those on board died, the Ministry for Emergency Situation said on Telegram. Daniel Hawkins, a journalist in Moscow, told Al Jazeera that, reports in the Russian media, unconfirmed so far, are saying this aircraft could have been taken down by air defense systems. Prigozhin was among those on board or was at least listed as among those people on board. Some journalists report they're in touch with his press secretary who is refusing to confirm that. A second jet was also in the air that's turned around and gone back to St. Petersburg. Prigozhin led a short-lived armed rebellion against the Russian leadership in June, posing the gravest challenge ever to President Vladimir Putin's two-decade grip on power. Prigozhin had his mercenaries occupy the Russian city of Rostov-on-Don and then sent military columns marching towards Moscow. He called the Russian military leadership corrupt and incompetent. He had complained for months of inadequate munitions supplies for his fighters serving on the front lines of Putin's war in Ukraine. At the time, Putin described the revolt as treason. But shortly before his troops reached Moscow, Prigozhin ordered a retreat after negotiations with the Kremlin, in which Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko acted as mediator. As part of the deal reached to escape prosecution, Prigozhin and his Wagner fighters were offered sanctuary in Belarus. Earlier this week Wagner Group Prigozhin chief posted first video since failed Russian mutiny, hinted he was in Africa. Wagner Group boss Yevgeny Prigozhin resurfaced in his first video since leading a botched uprising against the Kremlin, saying he was again recruiting heroic warriors to make Russia even greater. The unverified video, showing the 62-year-old mercenary dressed in camouflage and brandishing an assault-style rifle, popped up on Telegram channels tied to Prigozhin's private army Monday. Prigozhin says that his paramilitary group is recruiting heroic warriors to fulfill the tasks that were set. The Russian warlord's comments and some social media posts on pro-Wagner forums suggested the video was shot somewhere in Africa, with Prigozhin saying that the 122 degree temperatures are as we like. The Wagner PMC, private military company, makes Russia even greater on all continents, and Africa, even more free, Prigozhin says in the video, which includes a phone number. Russian mercenary chief Yevgeny Prigozhin posted his first video address since leading a short-lived mutiny in late June. Justice and happiness, for the African nations, we're making life a nightmare for ISIS and Al-Qaeda and other bandits, he continues. All eyes on Wagner, an open-source research group, reported Saturday that a plane linked to Prigozhin had landed in the Mali capital of Bamako. Wagner Group has been present in Mali since at least 2021, when a local military junta hired the Russian mercenaries after ejecting French troops and UN peacekeepers from the country. UN sanctions monitors alleged in a report earlier this month that Malian troops and Wagner fighters have been spreading terror and violence in the African country, including executing at least 500 villagers last year. Wagner and Malian soldiers have denied those claims. Prigozhin has kept a relatively low profile since leading a short-lived mutiny on June 23 that was aimed at toppling Russia's top military brass over their handling of the war in Ukraine. The Wagner Group officially known as PMC Wagner, Wagner Private Military Company, is a Russian state-funded private military company, PMC, 
controlled by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a former close ally of Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. The Wagner Group has used Russian armed forces infrastructure. The group came to prominence during the Donbas War in Ukraine, where it helped pro-Russian separatist forces from 2014 to 2015. Its contractors have operated around the world, including in the civil wars in Syria, Libya, the Central African Republic and Mali, often fighting on the side of forces aligned with the Russian government. Wagner played a significant role in the Russian invasion of Ukraine, for which it recruited prison inmates from Russia for frontline combat. By the end of 2022, its strength in Ukraine had grown from 1,000 to between 20,000 and 50,000. Prigozhin admitted being the leader of Wagner in September 2022. He began openly criticizing the Russian mod for mishandling the war against Ukraine. On the 23rd of June 2023, Prigozhin launched an armed rebellion after accusing the Russian mod of killing Wagner soldiers. Wagner units withdrew from Ukraine and seized the Russian city of Rostov-on-Don, while a Wagner convoy headed towards Moscow. The mutiny was halted the next day when a deal was brokered by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. Wagner first appeared as an entity in 2014, during the annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation. Until 2022 it was unclear who the real founders were. The media speculated that it was Dmitry Utkin who created it. The Wagner co-founder and hitman Dmitry Utkin also killed alongside Prigozhin in the plane crash. Dmitry Utkin is the alleged co-founder of the Wagner Group, although it is believed that he was employed to run it instead. Foreign policy stated that Utkin was only a commander of the group. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Yevgeny Prigozhin claimed to have founded the Wagner Group. It was long reported that Russian businessman Yevgeny Prigozhin, sometimes called Putin's chef, because of his catering businesses that hosted dinners which Vladimir Putin attended with foreign dignitaries, had links with Wagner and Utkin personally. The businessman was said to be the main funder and actual owner of the Wagner Group. Prigozhin denied any link with Wagner, until September 2022, when he admitted having founded the group in a post at Vkontakte. Prigozhin claimed, I cleaned the old weapons myself, sorted out the bulletproof vests myself and found specialists who could help me with this. From that moment, on May 1, 2014, a group of patriots was born, which later came to be called the Wagner Battalion. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.